greetings. I had a. It, it, I was looking at the Trinity of Light, which is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God, Jesus, Holy Spirit. And I was toying with the triple darkness for the devil did. Devil is the word live backwards, so everything he did was a perversion or a reverse of what God created. So the death of the triple darkness is without God, without your mind, or the light, or the sun. And sun is a pun meaning both the S-U-N as well as the S-O-N, more so the S-O-N Jesus than the S-U-N, which is the light. But to stay focused, the triple darkness is without God, without your mind and being in such a stupor or drunkenness or not sober enough to get out of the spiral now there's some things that can take you off that spiral which are people interjecting or you getting so hurt that you're just tired of whatever you're going through or you're so broke that you can't afford the high you're so drained of the life in you that you can't do what you did anymore so there are ways out of it and even you can have seed in you that was planted long ago such as your parents grandparents whoever praying over you they get you to spiral out of it but I wanted to be clear that we can get in this dark state whether we are a glutton for money where we will do anything for prostitution selling drugs selling our body even if it's not being a prostitute selling our soul because we're doing something that we know is not right within our spirit hurting people, doing these negative things, being overly mean to people. There are certain worlds of darkness that exist because we spiraled out of the light. Even if we are too indoctrinated with what we know or were taught to be right, we have got some hurt from whoever delivered it to us, whether we saw their humanity, meaning their imperfection, or we became church hurt, or mommy or daddy was never there, or never mothered or fathered us in the sense that was receptive. So anything that was nutritional or supportive to us being that person who is walking in righteous behavior. And I'm not talking about being self-righteous, but that could be a part of it as I think about it. But a person who is doing the things that are right, doing the fruits of the spirit, walking in love, being kind, helping others, things of that nature. At any rate, I know that there are so many hurts that I've experienced, whether it was church hurt or hurt from a mate or just trying to do the right thing and it's still not working because I did not have a relationship with God to know that, hey, you don't need to keep walking down this path. Hey, this ain't the right person for you to try to engage. Hey, this person is only temporary. Whatever it is, even if it was an assignment for me, whether it was temporary or long term and it got messed up based on whatever the frustration. Because, you know, when two people come together, both of them have to receive that this is where they're supposed to be. If both don't, I mean, hey, it's just a loss. You know, one can only walk with one leg, but the other person has another other leg to walk with you. Or else you hop along. I think you get the point without me being too verbose and getting off track. So 
there are so many reasons that we get out of the light. But, and, and this just popped in me. There are so many reasons to leave, but can you find a reason to stay? <laughs> that takes me to so many places that I don't want to go and get off track with this. But recognize that the light is just that. The light is not always comfortable. The light is not always easy, but it is worth it. It is worth being nice to people. It is worth taking that extra step to do what you know is right. It's worth it. And just because it's hard, that don't mean it's impossible. Just because it's hard, that don't mean you can't do it. Just because it's hard, that don't mean you, you're not supposed to do it. You know what you call to do. And don't allow all these traps, whether music or mindsets. And the music does play a, 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 a tune to the mind to vibrate it. Hmm, let me get, let me word this right. The music can put you in a mental state that makes you vibrate to a tune that is not in tune for your destiny. Recognize, ooh, let me use this. Realize, realize the real lives that cause the strife of life and take you to the hype that is not right and keeps you in the plight or the fight that discontinues the imagination of God's creation to further create what he made you to be versus the imagination of the fantasy because of the fallacy that you heard, whether it was somebody pimping you out your mind selling you a pipe dream, selling you fake hope, getting you strung out on that dope, whether it drink or a substance that it caused you to abuse the mental state of health and lose the real wealth versus catching the stupor or drunken state that caused you to miss your fate. Now, I'm not just trying to rhyme, but I'm trying to spend time to tell you, keep your mind intact because darkness is ready to attack at all times for Satan is like a lion, a roaring lion seeking who can he can devour. And I'm going to steal this from Bishop Bronner, where he said the lion roars. Or Bishop Jakes, I'm sorry, Bishop Jakes, the lion roars to scare the prey who can be prey toward the enemy that's going to kill you. Don't let the inner me cause the enemy to take you out of your true destiny, which is to live life in abundance to the full and to the overflow. You can't take away the gift that you were given, but you can pervert it to use it in a place that loses everything of substance. That's the triple darkness. You're out of your mind. Losing time. Because God is not on the forefront of your mind. Allowing the drunkenness, the stupor of the lifestyle. To take you away from the things that are really worthwhile. And if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. We're all born into sin. It is so easy to default to the negative. And media always mediates the vision of things that are not good to program you. Tell a vision programming. They don't say it no more. It went from television, tell a vision, to TV, to media, to social media, to feeds. So what are you feeding on? That's negating the positive to help you live. Okay, I'm stopping this. But you don't stop the positive 
manifesting in your life in strife. Don't let the triple darkness take you from the true light of the God, the Father, the Son, the light, and the Holy Spirit, which is that voice in you, guiding you and telling you what you should do. I love you enough to tell you the truth. Be free. Be free to be you. Be free to be you.